is that the recent podcast between Meghan Markle and her friend Serena Williams, and more importantly the one-time royal known as Prince Harry, are now causing major infighting within the British monarchy. But as ever, let me explain the reasons why. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London today. I hope you're keeping well. Kensington Gardens looking marvellous, isn't it? All the trees, all the leaves, should I say, are falling down already. Quite frightening, you know. We haven't finished summer yet, have we? Don't know what's going on. Very annoying. But as ever, there's bigger problems arising over with our British monarchy. And uh, as we know, it's been a very difficult time. It's been a spectacular year when you think about it so far. All thanks to the Platinum Jubilee celebrations. And as uh, many people now know who watch this channel on a regular basis, my favourite thing ever was our gracious monarch with Paddington Bear and of course where she keeps a marmalade sandwich. All great fun and when you think about it just proving uh, what a great sense of humour our wonderful monarch has. But she's going to need a wonderful sense of humour moving forward because when you think about it she's got even more problems looming and this is all to do really with a recent podcast from Harry and Meghan. And when I say Harry and Meghan as I pointed out before in a previous video don't mistake the fact that he suddenly just popped up to say hello to Serena Williams during the podcast was some kind of fluke. All set up, all scripted, everybody knew exactly at what point he was going to be coming in. But more importantly, the bigger problem is this, as we've seen the outburst and the backlash against Meghan and Harry over that South Africa statement, you know, the one with the fire, that's a little bit elusive on both sides and as ever, we have to say allegedly. Prince William over here is really feeling the wrath because he feels that his father, Prince Charles, should step in and do something about the situation, particularly with his younger brother, Prince Harry. And you can understand this because, as I've said before, this is truly all going to fall on the shoulders, eventually, of Prince William when one day, in the fullness of time, he becomes king. Now, according to a very good source, and as ever, once again, we have to say allegedly, Harry and Meghan feel very safe, if you like, uh, you know, safe proof. They know, really, that Prince Charles is a kind-hearted man, doesn't like confrontation, certainly doesn't want to rock the boat. And so they feel that they could say, do, and move forward with any plans that they wish, because really, there won't be any public backlash. Privately, of course, things could be different, particularly if they decide to go, as Prince Harry may do in his forthcoming memoir, for his stepmother, Camilla. But for now, William's hands are really tied. It's very difficult because they are trying to forge a good, strong bond themselves, as both will take the reins at some point from our wonderful monarch. But seemingly, as Prince William's worked out, in the public gaze, the public eye, everything that Harry and Meghan are currently doing is undoing all the good work that he, Catherine, Charles and Camilla are doing in the public eye. And he wants to put a stop to it. As ever though, will Charles actually listen to sound good advice, even from his eldest son, Prince William? When I know more, you'll know more. Neil Shaw in the very heart of London.